today is Wednesday, so we are going to be practicing our lettering. And today, our letter is the letter C. So that's for my daughter, Casey. So I'm going to try to do this beautifully today. So let's just start out with the um, calligraphy, the Italic Majuscules. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. I may not be, but <laughs> I give it a good try anyway. So I'm going to be looking at my book. I keep my books here beside me. So we are going to be making this C today. And it comes this way and this way, just two strokes today. So let's get in here and go. Keep it at a 45 degree angle. This is a calligraphy marker. So I'm gonna give it my best shape here. Make it big and fat and juicy and come around like that. And then this one comes out this way, starts. And that's pretty close. This comes down a little bit like that. This comes up a little bit like that. So the C's fairly easy to do. <laughs> I like a C. That works for me. And the second one is we are going to be making our casual script, which is so much fun. Let me kind of bring that book over here and show you the C. So that's kind of fun, isn't it? Let's see if I can do that one justice. So it's got a lot of curly Q at the top and just a tiny curly Q at the bottom. So here I go. One, two, three, and then it comes around and closes with a tiny one at the bottom. And there is some weight in here. Right in there. And I'm using just a gel pen for this. And that's the only weight there is. So that's pretty darn good, I hope. <laughs> Better than my bees. I wasn't too really happy with my bees last week. Darn it. But anyway, it is what it is. So this week, I am going to let me reach across here and get my water open. I am going to do my brush this week with actual paint. It is the acrylic paint called Blue Ink, I believe. So it's a nice color. So I'm going to show you this C. And it comes this way. And then it goes this way. <laughs> so hopefully I can manage the two strokes. All right. Let me get down here and start this way, pressing and coming up. And it's okay to get this look down here. That's actually what you really want as far as I can see when we're doing this brush. And we come like this, and then we come down like this. So I think that's pretty good. It's pretty good. This may have been more rounded over here. Might have done that. So we will catch that in the second or third round practice we're going to do today you know your first your first attempt at any letter is not going to be your best and especially any kind of lettering and calligraphy just keep at it and keep working at it and that's how you you get better absolutely so this one is our hand lettering um made easy book 
and we're going to make this capital C there from Karina. Isn't that cute? I like that. And I always, on this one, if you haven't seen the egg and the bee, I always draw it first, and then I come back with a permanent pen and sketch over it. So I'm just going to start that. I can fix things when I'm doing that. And this comes out around here more. And then this is kind of big and fat and fluffy in there. And I think that looks good. I think it looks good. I don't think I have to try again. Although this has got a little more clothes to it. So I'm just going to take my permanent pen if I can make it work I think I need to go buy some new permanent pens I don't think mine are actually I think I've used them so much they're actually running out of ink <laughs> so that's going to be that's going to be a challenge for me before next week. I will buy a new permanent fine liner marker. All right, and the last thing we're going to do is a collage C. And I think for the letter C, from what I can tell, I probably need several different pieces of paper to do that. And I may just need to tear them. So let's get some of this out here. I saw a piece of music I'd like to get. But I think the papers are going to work better for this one than the card stocks. So I am just going to come in and start tearing a few shapes. And see if we can't get a C somehow figured out. out of this mess. I think this goes here, maybe. And this one goes there, smaller. And I think this one will probably be our longest piece. Too long. And come back with this one. And come up this way. And this one is this way. Okay. I think we got it there. I think I can see the shape. I'm having a hard time today finding stuff on my desk, and it's fairly clean, so maybe I should keep it dirty. <laughs> maybe I'm better with the dirtiness. Okay, I'm going to do this one first. Everything seems to be just a little bit off for me today. <laughs> so maybe, maybe I better take myself back to bed or something. I don't know. I haven't been, I don't really have a cold, but it might be allergies or something. Because here in Florida, it's been kind of warm this year. And I think my summer and spring allergies have started up a little early. So I'm just kind of not feeling extremely well. But anyway, 
I am determined to get my daily creative practice every single day this year. It's day 57. And so there we go. Let me get this up here. There's our little collage to see. And our other ones. And I hope you enjoyed this as much as I did. And I will be back tomorrow with a, another tutorial. Tomorrow is our thrifty day, which is one of my favorite days, Thrifting Thursday. So who knows what we're going to get into then. Anyway, this is Rebecca E. Parsons. And I'm encouraging you to get into your contagious creativity and then pass it on. May joy be with you all.